guys, it's the Goddess Complex, and I've been posting more so over on IG and IGTV. I've been doing more so live streams and everything else, so if you have not followed me over to Instagram, it's Instagram, it's uh, Goddess underscore Complex 777, that's three sevens, right? Okay, so a lot of my stuff, I have a different playlist for every different thing. I just feel like it's better over there energy-wise. And like I said, a lot of stuff going on on YouTube energetically and spiritually as well. And I went over there, actually, I just finished up Carson Coffee. I'm going to do another one Sunday, Sunday the 12th. So July 12th at 12 p.m. noon, I will be doing maybe two hours of Carson Coffee. Just depends on where the energy takes us, right? So I also have some remedies and stuff. I just actually posted the longer versions of them over on IGTV. So you want a more in-depth version of everything I'm about to share these next couple videos. Everything's already on IGTV, but I wanted to make sure I supply my new subscriber so hi thank you for following me and subscribing okay so i'm going to show you guys this right here this is nothing different if uh you followed me long enough you know i have a prayer box <laughs> i have a prayer box and in this prayer box i write my little prayers it's like more so like a petition box right you write your petitions it has a little pencil a little notepad and everything and this is similar so i thought about this i was actually getting ready for another uh, remedy i actually just found this well which is the four thieves vinegar but it's going to be my version of it from through all my research and things throughout the internets but this right here was one of them i thought about it i was actually going to use another little jar but if so but basically you're, you're going to need a jar right something with a top to it a lid or any any like a little tin you can use a tin as well but i want to do a blessing jar so this is a blessing jar this is also a petitioning jar you can uh whatever you want to do with a blessing jar affirmation manifestation char, uh, jar whatever you want to call it i'm going to call it blessing because all those are blessings basically right so what you're going to do, you're going to need a jar. I've already cleansed this. I've wiped it down with alcohol, um, uh, charged water, moon water. Also, I've saged it as well. It still smells like sage. Please sage it. So anything that's going to especially sit on your altar and stuff like that, please sage it. So I cleansed it and also saged and cleansed the top as well. Right? You can still smell it. <laughs> also, you can use a little Florida water. You know, spray it down with that. Wipe it down as well if you don't have sage. Or you can use a little salt water, pink Himalaya salt, or uh, sea salt, pure sea salt, water. Pray, anoint it, especially over your hands. Enchant earth, air, uh, water, fire, different things like that. There's different things you can do to bless it. Um, so different scriptures from Psalms. Anything to spread down. If you have an actual spiritual cleanse, you can wash it down with that as well. So I have this right here. So what you're going to use is it's the same thing to a petitioning box. This is a blessing jar, manifestation jar, manifest jar. Whatever you want to call it, you know, whatever. What you can do, you can take a Sharpie, which I'm going to do, and you're going to put a sigil at the top and also at the bottom, right? You can also put the elements, uh, sigils, and, and the, the, the sigils for elements around the jar as well. It just depends on your spiritual beliefs and practices and things that you normally work with spiritually. So there's different things you can do, and then you can change them out. You know, this moon phase, you can do the elements. Next moon phase, you can do certain sigils and certain uh, symbols and stuff like that for you far as whatever this is uh you're going to use it for blessings affirmations uh petitioning also like i said i do work with the ancestor money haven't did it lately because of the retrogrades and stuff like that i don't practice certain things during certain phases of the moon right give myself a break okay so you can also use ancestor money you can also go to the dollar tree or the dollar store dollar, like i got this from dollar tree for a dollar and they sold out the i got this last week i went back tuesday and they were sold out i should have got two more of them for my herbs and stuff like that but like this is it's so cute right a lot of diys you can do with this herbal uh, stuff you can put your moon water in this and stuff as well but um you can go get like a little little notepad and pen or pencil from the dollar store a little you know, sticky notes or any little pad or what is it stationary a little stationary pad you can put it in there or you can just put it off to the side also, you can use your, I've, I've taught this in the Ancestor Money uh, Altar Burning uh, for the Ancestors. You can use green for to attract green, green and pink and different stuff. There's different color codes for different stuff. But normally, of course, for manifesting and, and financial blessing, abundance, prosperity, things like that, even health and stuff, good health with green of course if you want to take away a lot of things negative energy let's say you're under black magic attacks and stuff like that especially if you're divine feminine divine masculine and just a divine god of child i mean child of god you know this red pen will be your friend but to take away and to de delete things from your energy and from your life you you would use red 
And then for your regular traditional just prayers and affirmation and manifestation, just something just traditional, you can use like a black pen. Also, you can use pencil as well. You can use pencil. Some people I know like to use pencil. Like in the box, you can use a pencil. Um, also, the, the paper, you can also use parchment paper. You can also use the brown paper bag, any type of traditional paper. But you can use the just the regular notepad and stuff as well. But, I mean, brown paper bag, anything more so natural. The more natural, the better. But everything, like I said, magic has its purposes. And like I said, that's it. And so you can, I mean, decorate it. You can put little herbs around it, uh, crystals around it. You can put different things. It's like I'm going to experiment pretty much throughout the year. Um, you can put the little crushed, um, you can put the crushed um, crystals. You can get them on Amazon, Etsy, somewhere, everywhere, everywhere, locally, whatever. You can put the crushed crystals, especially if you want this to be a love jar, a love manifestation jar or... Um, you can see, use, what is it, um, pyrite, pyrite, was it pyrite and different, different stones for, um, money manifestation as well. This can be your money jar, this can be your blessing jar, this can be your love jar, this can be your health jar, this can be your healing jar, any, whatever you want to use this. I call it blessing, blessing jar. We're going to call it blessing jar. So that's, like, something simple, something simple is that, like I said, I was just walking through Dollar Tree, and I had been wanting to have, have make another blessing, I said, I want a blessing jar. And I've been seeing them in the stores. They're they're like six dollars and up. You know what I'm saying? I was like, you really can make that yourself, and then customize it, because a lot of them will come pre-printed and all this type of stuff. At least they're you're using actual, you know, solid material glass and not whatever this this combination of plastic and all this type of stuff is. Use glass as a better energy conductor. Like I said, you can put sigils at the bottom, sigils at the top. Um, I, I would put a definite protection sigil or something at the bottom or something like that. But there's different ways you can do it, different remedies. You can put herbs in it with it, um, crystals in the jar as well, inside and outside the jar. Be careful gluing it to the outside or whatever. Make sure you use, I would use like crushed crystals or something like that. Something that, you know, you can find at any jewelry, little jewelry um, department in a lot of the craft stores and stuff now. But yeah, so it's, you can remix this. So each season, I think I'm just going to do something a little different. So, but yeah, you can put crystals on the inside of it with your manifestations um your petitions and things like that so blessing jar go to dollar tree if you have a little jar actually around the house one of those like tall jars sustainability eco-friendly uh nisms come in handy right <laughs> but i wanted something decorative to sit on my altar and something i can just really make my own but and this is cute the way it's cut and everything this was perfect this is perfect. I don't know how many ounces can fit in here or whatever, but you can store, I mean, some of everything in here. But this is going to be the blessings jar. Our manifestation jar, okay? But our blessings jar, just as, you know, count your blessings and stuff like that. Just put your, your thoughts into your blessings and all that kind of stuff in here. It'd be great. That's a great also a, a, a developing a new summer routine, especially since the retrograde season is, is dying down now. That can get back to what I was normally doing, you know, spiritually minding my business. <laughs> But this is a great idea, also a great idea for children to write out their prayers. and just It's, a, it's a, actually a creative idea as well. So, this is a blessing jar. You don't need that much stuff, just a jar. If you have a jar, just make sure you're cleansing it physically and also spiritually. And pan, pan a little piece of paper, or if you have ancestor money or something like that, you can do it like that. Put little sigils or something. You can put, you know, crystals or whatever else, you know, with it. Definitely would put one on top, like that, especially if you're going to have it sitting at your altar. Or even just off to the corner somewhere. So you inside or outside, definitely recommend a crystal or sigil on it as well. And that's it. That's a blessing jar. That's my little DIY project for the month of July. On top of a, a few others. So follow me on, of course, here on YouTube, The Goddess Complex. Over on Facebook, The Goddess Complex. Also on Twitter, Goddess Complex 7. And over on IG is where I kind of do a lot of my stuff. Goddess underscore complex 777. That's three sevens, right? Also, podcast is available as well in the link on IG, uh, on, over on Anchor, and also over on Podbean, the Goddess Complex as well. And I'll have a new episode up this weekend, Sunday. <laughs> also, Carbs and Co Coffee will be Sunday as well. And we're going to get back to Tea Talk and Tarot a little later this, this probably next week. We'll do next week. I want to pull, pull a, a very special person to. You know, if they're available this week on to uh, Tea Talk and Tarot. But I'll get it, get it, you know, the more information to you. But, you know, yeah.
So go ahead and start this. I think this is a beautiful project. Just creatively and just spiritually. I think it's a very beautiful project. So I'll see you guys later. And thank you guys for subscribing and following.